after having sex, she's like, uh, well, okay, you really don't want to go and like investigate this secret organization because they're very, very frightening and deadly. But they're having a secret <laughs> meeting at midnight in this palace. So if you so wanted- she, she tells hmm. him this before they shack. And I will note that Casino Royale Craig would have left straight away because we we still we saw him do that very thing in yeah. NASA. Yeah, that's and now true. And he's just like, ah, oh, it's only ten thirty. Like, I got time. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so she she yeah, she, right. she tells him where the secret meeting is, um, and he leaves her Felix Leiter's phone number and is like, yeah, he can like get you out and under the radar. And it's like he's not in this film. No, he's not. But in any case, Bond Bond drives to the secret meeting out of yeah, uh, he, which is just like fifty supercars outside. There's a fucking the building. there's a fucking Concorde d'Elegance. He what he does is he drives out of Italy and into the most English country house I've ever seen. It might even be Blenheim Palace, uh, where there is a massive fucking like parade of Bentleys and Maseratis and shit outside, um, and then one guy tries to stop him. Right, Italian Spoiler, Dave Courtney enters the frame and is like, uh, "Five hundred flat nosed ragazzi." <laughs> yeah, he and hey. he and his he and his oh. Cinquecento uh, fucking flat nosed ragazzi show up and nice. like, "Do you have uh, do you have an invite? Fuck off before no trainers." Bond fl <laughs> Bond flashes him the 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 ring, and of course he is like very frightened by this and lets him in. Um, and at this point, Bond has now infiltrated the secret meeting, um, it, which is being held on, and I cannot stress this enough, the first floor. Yes. The, the, the most it, escapable it, it's part It's being of held any on the building. first floor, and then there's a balcony where a bunch of guys are just watching shit transpire, because, like, the, yeah. the conference okay. table is down below. Public meeting. Y yeah, exactly. You have... Yeah, like, <laughs> it's actually, it's unbelievable, because there's one specific note about this that made me go completely insane, right? Because hmm. you've got big table in the middle of the fucking hall, you know, balconies all around, people are watching it. Um, People on the table are discussing evil plans a la Spectre in the previous movies, where they're like, we've done the great train robbery. Yeah. Human trafficking bound. And this, this woman is speaking in fucking French. And as soon as she starts speaking in French, everyone else puts in a little earpiece. So they have fucking <laughs> translators like it's the UN yes. at this fucking secret meeting. Yes. But most like, importantly, what, what not just it... not just the people participating, <laughs> but the What is the setup? There's a fucking oh audience of presumably other Spectre guys. Right. So Why it's like they? your What's your happening? boss Last your boss time goes to the... an opera. Yeah. Your boss goes to a meeting and he brings you and all of your colleagues to just watch him hopefully not get executed by touching a big metal plate? Like, I mean, this is clearly the metal plate scene, and I'm waiting for someone to touch their hand on the metal plate. Someone's getting fucking Yeah, because metal to, plate to show, to show you the fact. Yeah, they, they fuck it up because in, in the middle of this meeting, so they mention uh, they're doing human trafficking, this comes up later, they are behind the merger between MI5 and MI6. Mm -hmm. um, and then Blofeld, we don't know he's Blofeld yet, but he's Blofeld, he arrives, and this bit's great because everyone like stands up, everyone's super scared, yeah, this it's is very good. threatening, yeah, this is good. it's a really nice bit. Uh, but like, we need to establish why they're scared of him because he needs to dunk someone in a shark tank or kill someone, but he doesn't. No. Instead, we get Dave Batista as Mongo. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I've got a, I've got an Abbey drop for this one. Mongo, Mongo is here. We've got a Mongo. Everybody. Yes, a Mongo, Mongo enters in the and scene. I thought those words. I wrote that down yeah. even because because Boyfo enters the meeting and he he does have this good thing where like everybody's terrified of him and he goes like quite amusedly, "Don't let me interrupt you," and everybody has to like try and find their place again. Um, but then a guy volunteers to take care of the Pale King, who we heard about in Mexico City. To which he, Boyfo goes. Anyone else want to challenge him for this role? And um, and Mongo wanders in. Mongo, who has to, <laughs> who? <clears throat> okay, I got, let me. Have you ever seen Game of Thrones? Are you familiar with Game of Thrones? Sure. Do you remember that bit where the big guy with the thumbs in the eye, the the killed the yeah the classic, yeah, yeah. He classic did that? classic thumb in eye thing? Yeah. You you know how that was really good in Game of Thrones because it I hate to say the word but subverted uh, your expectations yeah, right because. Yeah. Yeah, it's really shocking, and it was done in service of driving the plot forward. Hmm. What if we did it again, 
but for kind of no reason. Just what if we do it again? Other than to establish that Dave Batista, Earth's largest man, is physically threatening. Yeah, the the silence absolutely intentional. What if we just? What if that? Um, Blofeld like gets some of the monoco- like uh, microphone, and he's like, "We got a guest in here tonight." Like, shout out to my boy in the balcony, James, James fucking Bond. Bond. James Bond is here tonight. Cut. Smash cut, Bond immediately jumps through a fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so, it's so like, time to go. There's also one thing, but Blofeld. He, Blo- he Blofeld. Hits the fucking brakes harder than they've ever been hit. Blo- <laughs> Blofeld, Blofeld makes a little, like, bird call noise. He's like. And he's like, that's James Bond. Get him. Uh, but he's not yeah, he even like getting him. He's like, like, leans in. He's like, we got a guest here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? <laughs> James Bond. What took you so long? And at this point, I wrote down. So the, the point about the secret meeting is that it's a trap, right? If Blofeld's expecting him. But the. But the. <laughs> But he, he just leaves. But then he just leaves. <laughs> he just <laughs> leaves. Right. Like, what's really funny is like there's a <laughs> there's a way to pass doing We're it in the palace, <laughs> do, doing it with a sh- like a shitload of people who don't need to be there, having all the cars out front as a way of like luring Bond in. And Blof, I For like UN translator. Crew. I like the idea of Blofeld being like, I'm not being like too unsubtle, am I? He's not gonna like see through this when he sees all the Bentleys parked outside. Meeting. Yeah, exactly. 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 But then, once he is in the trap, what Blofeld does is identify James Bond, make a bird noise at him, and make no attempt to detain him whatsoever. (laughs) It is a situation of his making, and entirely within his control, and Bond just leaves (laughs) via a window. He is Spectre 11 tier shit. He reveals his real plans. His Why genuine you... actual plan. We and like make up a bunch of wild shit. Just be like, yeah, we've bought Disneyland. Uh, we've, we're behind the COVID, but just the vaccine, not the rest of it. And it is like, just in, real. In... Like, we've delayed the Xbox One. Like, just make shit up. We've got all the PS5s. Like, it's, like, inst- it's not even inst- like, I'll tell you my plan because I'm going to kill you because he doesn't try to kill him. Two guys shoot at him kind of lackadaisically. No, and he it's just genuinely. Leaves. What happens is he goes, oh, we got a special boy in the audience tonight, let's get a big shout out to James Bond, it's his birthday everyone. And like, the guy that James bluffed to get in walks up and goes, your nicked son. Yeah, to Dave which James Corbyn. fucking like judo throws him off the balcony and leaves. Smash cut to and you go, the window. What? 